Hey everybody, I share a little story with you. I have been uh, recording pretty regularly in my basement studio now for two years. And I've had upgrades along the way that I've made, particularly in microphones. And currently I'm using a set of Audix DP7 microphones. And uh, for my overheads, I'm using uh, an Atlas uh, 435 setup. Now, interestingly enough, I thought my set always sounded really good. But after digging around, I found that, <clears throat> and I thought I had, a problem with my uh, snare microphone. I was just, I thought it was broken and I was swearing it was, wasn't working right. Because my snare sound was being picked up mostly by the other mics in the set and primarily my overheads. And when I soloed the snare, it sounded awful. And uh, I knew something wasn't right. So I figured today would be the day that I'd do a deep dive into the matter and find out what the problem was. And if I had to, I would buy a new snare mic. So <clears throat> I traced everything out. I swapped out wires. I swapped out ports on the, uh, the interface. And I, I finally found out what my problem was. And here's, here's where you're probably gonna laugh. Uh, I wasn't laughing because it's been like this for the last 13 months, but it's fixed now. So the problem was on my Tascam audio interface, my snare drum is plugged into input one. And uh, the, the issue that I discovered <clears throat> was really that input number one, the, the gain was barely, barely open from like zero. It was like nothing. So, it made the, the, the snare drum sound really weird. Like, like it's a really stupid sounding snare drum. But like I said, the sound of the snare was carried into the overheads and the other microphones on the kit. So it actually sounded okay. So then I went through all my settings and I found out that my gains were kind of low on a lot of things and on a couple of things they were too high. So I adjusted the snare and uh, the compression and, and that kind of stuff on it. So it actually sounds really good now. And it actually registers a pretty healthy beat in GarageBand, which is the, inter is the, which is the uh, door I use. So uh, that, that was kind of stupid, but it's fixed. And I actually wrote to Audix today about maybe having them send me a replacement microphone uh, before I spent three hours digging into the real problem. And, uh, you know, I would have never, I would have never <coughs> found that problem if it wasn't for the fact that on certain songs I did, I could see myself hitting the snare in the recording but the snare would sound like it was a, a clap, like almost a clapping sound. So I knew that that wasn't right. And that's what prompted me to kind of dig into things. So that's all fixed, all well and good. Uh, I'm gonna play a short clip of uh, a, a song that I did with the adjusted uh, levels. And I think you'll notice right off the bat that the snare is actually nice and healthy. I'll only include like a 20 second uh, audio clip of that because other than that then uh, the copyright police will take notice so that's it have faith if you have a problem with your setup and you think it's equipment related uh, do the basics you know swap swap some cables 
swap cables, uh, swap inputs on your, uh, on your uh, audio input, check your gains, uh, make sure that all that stuff looks good. And then, uh, like I did, I was able to find the problem. So that's it. I hope, uh, hope that story may, may help somebody out there. And you guys have a good night.